Hello, fat loss friends. In today's vlog, I am gonna throw at you three of my top tips for using MyFitnessPal, the free mobile application, to get you your fat loss results fast. When I say fit with, you say Frank. Fit with, fit with. Okay, so you are on a mission to lose some body fat. You are immense and you've decided to download MyFitnessPal, get an account with them and start tracking your calories. Well done, you are ready to get results. However, hold tight, I've seen this used incorrectly too often and I really don't want you to make the same mistakes that I've seen clients make in the past. So here are my top three tips to get the best results you can using this free mobile app. Tip one, be clear on your calorie target, your calorie goal. You'll notice when you signed up that MyFitnessPal will create a calorie goal for you based upon your statistics. This could be about right. In my opinion, it's not always the case. Remember that MyFitnessPal is very generalized and it only knows a little piece about you as a person. So that score they're giving you there may or may not be right. On my 12 week fat loss program, we go a bit deeper on you and we try and understand a bit more about your lifestyle. And then we create a calorie goal that we believe is gonna get you the best fat loss results. Now, if you're on this program, great, you'll have the calorie goal. If you're not, don't panic. Google has the answers. A professional in your area might be able to give you the answers. But I would wholeheartedly recommend that you really know this before you set sail on this calorie mission. I would hate for you to get eight to 10 weeks down the line and realize that this goal maybe wasn't what you should have been aiming for in the first place. Tip two, understand macronutrients. Proteins, fats, carbohydrates. Now, if you saw my vlog yesterday, you'll know that I believe calories are your first go-to if you're trying to lose body fat. However, I also want you to gain an understanding of these macronutrients. And the great news is you don't need to do anything else. As you're inputting your foods, my fitness pal is creating a pie chart for you. For the first few weeks, just look at it. Just look at it, ignore the goals on there. Just look at it, see what's happening. Is there a nice spread of color? I'm a fan of starting with a balanced blend of macronutrients. And then as you move forward, you can kind of play about with proteins, fats, carbs, and then see how the body reacts. But you need to start understanding what they are so that we can use these later down the line to really, really push your fat loss results further forward. Tip three, be honest. Now don't pretend to me that every day you're logging food on here, you are being 100% honest. I know this isn't true. I've made the mistake myself. Everybody does. Remember this, you're only cheating yourself. It's a classic saying, isn't it? But it's absolutely true. If you're chomping on cheese while you're cooking that healthy dinner, or nibbling some celebrations while you're getting that fruit salad ready for dessert, you need to be honest with yourself. Are you logging every single thing that goes in your mouth and popping it on here? Because if you're not, this is pointless. A lot of the time, it's those little sneaky snacks we're having, the little sip of wine here and there that we're not logging that's actually affecting our results. And when you think you're doing really well, you're actually slipping off target. So there you go. If you fully understand and trust in your calorie goal and you gain an understanding of macronutrients and you are honest with yourself as you're inputting on here, you are ready to burn body fat and get in the best shape of your life. Trust me. Good luck. Always get in touch if you have any questions. I would love to help. Let me know how you're getting on. That's enough from me today. Have a good evening. See you very soon.